this woman is a dynamo here, and she's going to be able to help you after this morning be a better employee, be a better worker, and get more out of your job because she knows about how facing fear can make you stronger, smarter, faster, better. Molly Fletcher, thank you. When we think about being fearless, I don't think we can be fearless without being curious about what's possible in our lives. So I would challenge you as you go through this day to stay curious, to stay a little bit vulnerable and to recognize that inside of that moment, inside of those opportunities, we grow. When we own the stories that we tell ourselves, when we have the courage to change the story we tell ourselves, we can do some pretty magical things. So I would challenge you to pull back and say, what's the story that you're telling yourself in your life today? What's a story that you're telling yourself that's holding you back from being the very, very best version of yourself? And what would be a new story that you could tell yourself so that you could, in fact, make the shift in your life that you want to make? That, to me, is truly being fearless, changing the story we tell ourselves. He grabs my resume and he crumples it up. He throws it in the trash can. He says, hey, listen, who are you and what do you want to do and why? It was a moment in which I had never prepared for. It was a moment that I was scared to death, but it was also an opportunity. It was an opportunity to speak from my heart. It was an opportunity to be completely transparent. It was an opportunity at the core to allow my passion for the sports business to suffocate any fear that I had in that moment. The past says, what if I would have, right? The future says, one day I will. But fearlessness is in the moment. Fearlessness is the moment in which we have the courage to stay present. I had a coach one time, I was 15 years old. And he said, Molly, listen to me. He said, when the ball's coming over the net to you, I want you to cut off the angle. He said, instead of running across the baseline, I want you to cut it off. I want you to step into it. And I said, okay, great. And then he said, Molly, when the ball's bouncing, as it's bouncing up, I want you to take it on its way up. I want you to step into it. At 15 years old, he said to me, he said, listen, on the baseline, at the back of the tennis court, he said, behind that, there's sharks. <laughs> he said, and in those sharks, they'll eat you up if you get behind the baseline. That experience was really a metaphor for life for me. It was a metaphor around how do we step into challenges? How do we take the ball on the rise? How do we cut off the angle so that we can execute more quickly? And that's what fearlessness is all about. It's about leaning into the moments each and every day. That platform, that moment in my life was a moment that really created a platform for me to begin to recruit over 300 athletes and coaches in a 15 plus year career as an agent. Little moments create really, really big outcomes in our lives. We all saw the big moments with the best athletes in the world, but what I saw was all the little moments in between. I would challenge you to get clear on your purpose, be curious, take ownership when things don't go just the way we want them, and then have the courage to be resilient. Have the courage to be resilient so that in moments we can take advantage and be a little bit bold. And most importantly, inside of those fearless moments, guess what'll happen? I promise you, if you lean into it each and every day and start today, you'll change your life a good bit, but you know what else? You'll change the lives of others, which is what is most important, I believe, in all of our lives. Thank you so much for having me, it's awesome.